This is GCSE Physics Paper 1 in 5 minutes. Both combined and triple have four topics within Paper 1. So without wasting any time, the first topic is energy. There are eight different stores of energy that you need to know about, and this is what they are. The conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only transferred. This is a very important sentence that you need to remember for your exams. So energy is transferred between the stores of energy that I mentioned before. And the way this happens is through doing work, heating or falling. Three of those energy stores are kinetic, gravitational potential and elastic potential. These have three very important equations that you must remember. Firstly, kinetic energy, energy equals half times mass times velocity squared. Gravitational potential energy is mass times gravitational field strength times the height. And elastic potential is half times the spring constant times the extension squared. Moving on, specific heat capacity. It is defined as the energy required to increase one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Specific heat capacity also comes with an equation. Be careful here of the units and also remember the triangle so that you can rearrange the equation well. Moving on to energy in the home, there are multiple ways to reduce unwanted energy transfers that you may be tested on. Some of these include wall insulation, roof insulation, draft excluders underneath doors, and also double glazing windows. We're nearly at the end of the first topic, so stay with me. Renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Here are some examples of renewable energy sources, and here are some examples of non-renewable energy sources. There are lots of different pros and cons of each of these, most of them are to do with environmental factors. For each of the energy sources, it is required that you know a little bit about them and also some uses in general life. So here are a few examples of those. But that sums up topic one. So on to topic two, and that is electricity. First of all, we have the circuit symbols. You're probably sick of seeing these circuit symbols by now. Throughout the electricity topic, there are very important keywords such as current, potential difference and resistance that you must know about. With certain devices throughout a circuit, there are a certain set of graphs that you need to know about that show the relationship between current and voltage, and these are known as IV characteristics. So the first one we have is for the filament lamp. This produces a graph which is kind of in an F shape. The next one is an ohmic conductor, and this one is just a constant line. And the final one is a diode. Now a diode only lets current flow in one direction. It is important you understand how resistance changes for both an LDR and a thermistor. When both the light intensity and the temperature are lower, the resistance is quite high, but as they both increase, the resistance flattens out and asymptotes to zero. Next, we have series and parallel circuits. A series circuit is just a single loop that contains everything. A parallel circuit is a bit more staggered where things are on different levels. Here are some important similarities and differences you need to know about series and parallel circuits. For triple students, you also need to understand how resistance works in a parallel circuit. You need to be able to label the different parts of a household plug. There are three wires that go into a plug, the earth wire, which is green and yellow, the live wire, which is a brown wire, and then also the neutral wire, which is blue. And the final part of electricity involves the national grid and transformers. The electricity is produced in power stations and is distributed to our homes with the help of step up and step down transformers. On to topic number three, particle model of matter. First of all, solids, liquids, and gases. This is something you probably would have learned since about year seven. Next, we have density. Density has an equation and is basically a measure of the amount of stuff that is in a certain volume. Different substances can change state at different temperatures. It is very important to know the scientific words for when a substance goes from one state to another. Next, we have specific latent heat. And this is the amount of energy required to change the state of one kilogram of a substance without changing its temperature. And this is also the equation that goes with specific latent heat. And the final subtopic within topic three is particle motion in gases. This basically talks about how pressure is evaluated in gases, and it is measured by the number of collisions the gas particles have with the walls of its container. And finally, onto topic four. This is the final topic of GCSE Physics Paper 1, so well done if you've made it this far. This is atomic structure. And to start us off, we have Rutherford's alpha scattering experiment. This is a very common six mark question that I see a lot in past papers. 
The experiment involved firing alpha particles at a very thin sheet of gold leaf foil, and Rutherford made a number of observations. Next we have isotopes. Isotopes are simply where an atom has the same number of protons, but a different number of neutrons. This can cause it to be unstable and increases the relative mass of that atom. This can lead on to ionizing radiation. There are three main types of ionizing radiation. This is alpha, beta, and gamma. And here are the main properties of each of these three that you need to remember. Radiation is typically measured by its activity, which is measured in Becquerel's. This activity will slowly decay over time in line with the radiation's half-life. Different sources of radiation will have different half-lives, but a half-life just means the amount of time taken for the activity to half. And finally, irradiation and contamination. Irradiation is just exposure to radiation, and contamination is when radioactive particles get onto objects. And that sums up all of GCSE Physics Paper 1 in 5 minutes. Thank you very much for watching, please like and subscribe if you found it useful, and as always let me know any comments you have down below.